Okay, so the first test, I'm going to use this uh, Yin Yan uh, BY-24ZP flash. I got it off of eBay. It's uh, extremely cheap. Uh, there is no um, uh, flash power setting on this, so it's uh, one shot, so we're going to hit it. And as I suspected, I'm do that again. I'm going to go one more time. Okay, so this is 1.07 milliseconds. So in photography, that would be um, 1 over 900. Uh, the second flash that I'm going to test is um, this YN560-3 Speedlight from uh, Yan Young Nuo. And I'm going to go ahead and start with... Um, Uh, full power. Okay, that was uh, extremely long. Run that again. 3.240 milliseconds. Now we'll run it again on half. 1.02 milliseconds. And again on one quarter. 4.56 microseconds. I'm sorry, 456 microseconds. And again on one eighth, two hundred ninety two microseconds, and one sixteenth, hundred and ninety eight microseconds. And one thirty second, hundred and thirty two microseconds, one sixty fourth, twenty eight microseconds. And the final setting at uh, 1 over 128 is 16.12 microseconds. Call that 16 microseconds. And I should point out too that uh, I'm running at 2 volts per division with a uh, six and a half volt source so we're nowhere near getting to our rail voltage so um, I have figured out with my testing that if uh, if you allow the photodiode to um, and I don't know if this is the right term but saturate or go to the rail voltage then the fall time is substantially increased and I believe that that's what happened on my first test so um, ran the test again and I do have one more uh, flash that I tried in the first video that I'd like to try again and this is a um, disposable camera flash circuit. And I anticipate this to be around the one uh, millisecond range. Ian, quiet buddy.
and the disposable flash. 260 microseconds, not terrible.